before I go on with this video, I want to state that Red Dead Online is a beta. We can't blame Rockstar Games directly for this, and this video in no way is a complaint from myself. However, understandably, lots of people are very angry. Rockstar Games have made it so that Red Dead Online is not available to anyone on Xbox One today, regardless of them saying that it would be for Ultimate Edition players. What exactly is going on and have Rockstar said anything about the matter? Yes they have, and I have answers for that in today's video. So when will you be able to play? Probably tomorrow, that's the short answer. However, if you want a bit more of a breakdown, I'm going to get into that now. So unless you've been doing some research at the moment, you may be wondering why can I not access Red Dead Online on the Xbox One? Well, millions and millions of people are having the same problem. Uh, it's not Xbox Live's problem, it's Rockstar Games. Now, when we all pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption 2, we expected as we expected to receive the exclusive content. And so there was no promise of getting access early for Ultimate Edition players. Rockstar Games simply thought that it was necessary to give them early access to help the launch of Red Dead Online seem smoother, which makes sense and it's a definitely a brilliant plan. However, everything has gone wrong today. Nobody can access Red Dead Online on the Xbox One, and lots of you are probably wondering when can I access it? Well, this morning, well, this afternoon, about 1.30pm in the UK, I saw the error message and I took to GTA forums and read it and found out that nobody is getting access to Red Dead Online on the Xbox One. And uh, with Rockstar Games support actually tweeting, thank you for being patient, we're on the issue and we're going to try and fix it as soon as possible. Well, it's now set Seven hours later and there's still no online for Red Dead Redemption 2. Which is downright disappointing and almost embarrassing for Rockstar Games. Now we knew we knew there were going to be turbulence issues as stated by Rockstar Games. And personally I'm not complaining about the issue, I'm simply stating a fact that unfortunately the servers are down. The one problem with this is that they learnt from GTA Online that letting everyone play at once would be a problem. They thought how can we combat that? Right, we'll release Red Dead Online in stages. First Ultimate Edition, then tomorrow it will be people who played on day one and then slowly and, and gradually we will increase the player base. However, they did that. They've tried to make it so lots of people can access it with minimal turbulence, but in the result of it, something's gone wrong with Xbox and nobody can play it. And I don't mean nobody as in a small minority of players are getting this issue. Everyone on Xbox is having this issue. I've had probably about 100 messages on Xbox Live with people saying they can't access it. Hundreds of messages on Twitter, the GTA forums and Reddit are filled with people who are absolutely angry and Rockstar Games saying, hey look, you guys who played paid for Ultimate Edition, especially those of you who bought it because of what we said last night, you can get access to Red Dead Online a day early if you buy it. Lots of people have gone out and bought that and oh, by the way, surprise, none of you can actually access it today. Sorry, you're going to have to play it with everyone else who bought the game and played it on day one. They can't exactly push that back, it's a beta, we should have expected there would be issues, however should we have expected that there were going to be issues this bad? Probably not. Rockstar Games said that they wanted to release a newswire post and at the moment of making this video they have not done that and I highly expect that when they do do that they will say something along the lines of please be patient, we're working on it, hopefully it'll be fixed tomorrow. And that would probably be the best scenario. So unfortunately, when can you play Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox One? Probably sometime tomorrow. They're probably not going to fix it within reasonable time frame today. Which is a huge shame, a huge letdown to a lot of the fans, especially people who have shelled out so much money. I don't know if they're going to offer any sort of refund for people who are going to be so angry at this that they want to go back to buying the normal edition, which would be completely reasonable with the mistake that's happened in my opinion. It's not something I would do, but I can understand where people would come from. That or they could compensate for free money in Red Dead Online, I don't know. But this is a beta and that's what we need to remember, that there is going to be turbulence. But unfortunately, the best we can do at the moment is wait until tomorrow where gradually the player base increases and hopefully they would have figured out the issues by then. And I'll have all the latest updates here on the channel. So stay cool, stay awesome and adios.